Hey, hi, and hello. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. I, these goggles and this hat really just do it for me. I'm just, it, it makes me happy. So, last time we finished the gigs that Regina had been sending us, which makes me very happy. And she sent me a message. I don't have any more contracts for you, V, at least for now. Watson is better off thanks to all your work. If I may suggest something, take a break from the city for a while. Burnout can affect even the strongest individuals, so a bit of R&R &R would do you a world of good. I mean it. There's a little gift waiting for you in your stash to help you on the way. So long, V. All right, so I came back to the apartment to check out the stash. What did you give me? What is this? Neofiber. Increases mitigation chance and mitigation strength. Cool. Sure. Like, I, I like that. Thank you. I'll take it. Why did I keep this? I don't need this. I'll, I'll sell that in a minute. Cool. Yay. All right. Although, to be honest, I don't actually know what it was. What did you just give me? Or is that just like a thing, you know? I don't see it in here anywhere. Am I crazy? Hmm, I'm not, but... Kind of assumed it was a cyberware mod. Is that just... Huh. Interesting, I don't actually know where that went. That's funny. All right, moving on. Um, I don't think I have any more, well, cyber psychos, but I don't know where any of those are yet. Can't do any more fights yet because I need to wait for the lockdown to lift. Can't do this because I need to wait for the lockdown to lift. So, I'm actually going to be continuing the main storyline. This is an exciting day. All right. So, let's... Where is this? Way over there. Okay, let's go here. Excellent. I'm actually kind of excited to be continuing the main storyline. It's been, what, uh, is this, I think this is almost 20 episodes? Or 20 videos? Uh, I think I'm on... What is this, 19, 20? This might be 20. I don't remember for sure, but I would say a good, what, like 18 of those have been <laughs> side missions and, and, and the gigs that Regina gave to me. So it'll be nice to, oh, hello. Um, this will be nice to actually continue the story. I don't need that anymore. I don't care enough for that. Um, oh, there's a side job here. Oh, man. And it was right outside my apartment, too. Well, let's go do that instead. <laughs> Except we're going to drive there this time. Hello, hello, how are you, my darling? Shall we away? Right back to where we came from. <laughs> I don't want to wait for a loading screen this time. Everything takes a little bit too long to load, and by a little bit... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. And by a little bit, I mean... <laughs> too long. It's too long. 
Whoops. So I don't want to wait for it. That e-brake works a little too well. It's just a, I just tap it, and it just loses its mind. Which does not help in my terrible driving, with my terrible driving skills. Some of this is on you, Cyberpunk. This is your fault. Wall! <laughs> okay, that one might have just been me. But if you won't tell, I won't. So... We can just agree that that wasn't my fault. Wait, am I going back to Victor? I'll just... Hey, God, it's scary when you're not textured in. Hey. I can't tell if this is where I'm supposed to be. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Read my tarot. You want to read my tarot? Sure thing. Focus Fendiment. on the recent past and what you expect in the future. Although I don't know if this is story related, so maybe I'll just get the same thing again. The world reversed. You stand at the beginning of your journey. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the that one. The lovers reversed. You are surrounded by a... The star. Also reversed. So... Reverse death. Your adversary... Doesn't sound so good. No. Not at all. Well. Okay, bye. Where is it sending me to now? I don't think it likes what I'm trying to do. Whatever that may be. Let's... Go there. And we'll just leave you, I guess, since there's nothing actually here. What a waste of time. Thanks, game. Really love it. Ugh. That whole time, I could have spent continuing on with the main story that I was so excited for. And I'm keeping this in so everyone else can be frustrated with me. Who wants to scream about this together? Because I would like to. Ah, uh, that's fine. That could have gone worse. So it's fine. Losing some of the sounds again. Wow, something is not. It is not liking what I am doing. I'm not totally sure why, though. Not really doing anything I don't normally do. Did you see the shadows just materialize? Flawless, don't change a thing, Cyberpunk. I know I'm almost there. Why are you taking me so far away? Probably because this is the only street that goes here, huh? Oh, good. I loved going into a tunnel that says Maelstrom. truck in the ground. There's some people. Truck's still in the ground, though. 
Ah, there it is. Just load up for a second. Um, I'm gonna save it here. Oh, can't save it right now. Okay, well, guess I won't save it here then. Look lively, Meredith Stout. Take it, you were the one to call. I was indeed. Ah! Thought you could blackmail me, fucker. Set conditions. Got any more for me? I missed it. Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Maybe. <laughs> yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Paranoid, are we? Now listen. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? I don't remember any of this now. <laughs> that guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Him, you can let go. Want to hear what he has to say? Thank you. Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Rude. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Not could exactly. Just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter, but on one condition: you pay with our money. Uh, fine. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Let's crack this. Already? Try to fuck me in right. any... Property of Miltech. Unauthorized access. Strictly prohibited. Great, thanks. Way. And I'll be on the crate you real queen. soon. That's good. You're making a mistake! The cubs are any good as dead! But she'll take you down with her! Alright. Bye. Well... That's probably fine. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember what we're doing here. All right, let's read this. Uh, know what I like about your run-of-the-mill gang goons? They know what they like. Cash, sex, power, maybe just the sign of their enemy's blood. Real rays of sunshine, they are. But these maelstrom cabrones, shit, never can be sure. They look at you with those creepy-ass toaster faces and you can't get a read of them. Got no clue what twisted thoughts are racing through their processors. You ask me, that's why biz with Maelstrom never turns out pleasant. But, sometimes there's just no getting around it. Let's grab that spider bot, yeah? Make Dex proud. A Militech Corpo cunt lost an arms shipment, and if she doesn't find it, she'll be paddling up shit creek with stumps for hands. I'm betting it's not even about the weapons. Militech could lose a tank, and it'd make no difference to them. It's about principles. One thing's for damn sure, someone's taking the fall for this. I feel like I shouldn't have met with her if I want to stay on Jackie's good side. Well, too late now, I guess. Okie dokie, let's go. Oh, that's not actually that far away. I'm just gonna go this way. See if I can... Oh, 
Oh no, wait, I can get through here, right? Yeah! Hey, Jackie. Don't mind me. Ah, there you are. Here I am. Sorry, it's been several days. <laughs> Let me hear what you squared away. Been waiting long? My mother always said patience pays off, so... Z book show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It would be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? I guess. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I like your bike. I missed you, Jackie. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Saving it. <sighs> Don't know you. You're about to. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. For a long time. I know. Just to be safe. Oh. Can I disable these without them? Uh, cozy place. I won't. I could use a few plants, though. Oh, they're disabling them for me. Great. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. What if I turn them to friendly? Or at least this one. I'm gonna. I can just come up and rip them off. That's cool. Make you friendly too. Just in case. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in the Chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots did me. Gross. Hey. What was in there? A Militech truck. But those cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. That's Militech, all right. Psycho boards chromed out with military grade hardware worth millions. This should be fun. Anti personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle.
trying to spook us. I'm aware. I'm gonna turn all this stuff to my side before anything becomes a problem. Hey, what's this? All foods, the future of meat. Not only are all foods products healthy and nutritious, they will feed our future. Soon, All Foods will launch a pilot line of new products to complement the Easy Beef brand. This series of meat products will be based on flatworm cultures, which have been found to significantly, significantly help increase metabolism, slow weight gain, and cleanse the intestinal tract. We hope the flatworm initiative will usher in All Foods' latest successful generation of meat products. Why do you have this here? Just wondering. Oh, okay. Just gonna want through the door. Okay. All right. All right, you chilled me. Remember, we're on their turf. Good point. So what do you want? Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You will deal with me. Okay. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. I bet you live up to that name. Now couch. Planet. Okay. Seems a little aggressive. Code freak. I would really like to read your stuff on that computer, but I'm concerned if I do, you'll shoot me. Uh, well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Punch him. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jesus, Jack, what gives? Primerito, I don't like this guy's tone. Segundo, sitting on your ass makes you an easy target. Ooh, good point. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. I'm not gonna calm him. I'm gonna let him do what he wants. You know what, Jack? You called it. Let's scrap the bastards. You fucking oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. Let's overheat you. Jackie with my life. I will let him do what he wants. Nothing yet. Silencer. Wise offer. I heard you came into some quality equipment recently and plan to keep it for yourself. I respect you, Lucius. A man needs ambition, but you're out of your element here. This equipment is hot, and if you don't get it off your hands quickly, quickie, haha, <laughs> you'll get burned. I can offer a fair price for both sides, and I can guarantee discretion. Think carefully. Hiram Goldenbaum. Royce. Brick, Royce is a feral animal. Let him out of sight for one sec, and he'll crush your windpipe like a beer can. Want my opinion? Bullet to the head. Preferably in the back. Not worth the risk, period. Don't remember asking your opinion, P. Been in this base five years, so that makes me goddamn Methuselah. Never seen no Royces. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Not a whole lot, actually. So maybe it was good that I, uh, made all that stuff friendly for myself. Oh, are you still stuck in the wall? Ooh, sorry, dude. That's that's rough. That's a rough death for you. Oh, and you're missing your legs. Wow, you are having a rough time. All right. Oh, there's someone else. Okay. Um. Can I 
get through here? I can. Cyberpunk 2020 rule book. I already read that. Guns back. The Solo's Manual by Morgan Blackhand. Intro. Think you've got what it takes to be a legendary solo, huh? Sure you do. Otherwise, why pick up this book? You're looking for respect, for fear, for a way to be on top. Maybe you heard someone quote me about winning battles with only a glance before a single shot's been fired. Well, fine. I'll let you in on a secret. It is possible. And you can do it too. But only if you got the guts to survive going to hell and back more times than you can count. This guy sounds like, um... This author sounds like an alpha male dickbag. Really, uh, really into him so far. Thousands of fights, millions of bullets, hundreds of gallons of blood, yours included. That's what you have to look forward to. And you'll need a solid ripper. One that you can trust when you make a lifelong chumbadas out of. One who tells you every week, it's a miracle you ain't dead by now. At least that's what he'll say if you're lucky. Nowadays, every kid with big iron, a sin leather coat, and a micro-missile launcher thinks they're a hotshot solo. But you know what? Just because you killed a few goons with a smile on your lips don't make you one. Anyone can kill. I knew this rocker boy once who blew up a whole fucking platoon of corpo trash. Did that make him a solo? No. It made him dead. So, still think you got what it takes to carve your name into solo history? Good. This book's for you. You sound like you suck. Money. Oh, Nagiri. Wow, lots of messages here. Warning. No, you're dodging me. We need to meet. From Royce to Brick. Production floor from Brick to Royce. Know what you're doing behind my back. Off the hook this time, but never try that shit again. From Royce to Brick, big deal. Brick, this is a big fucking deal. Get your guys together, everyone. Production floor, waiting on you. Pay or your head will explode. Seen this one. Uh, Mega Medicine Lottery. I think I've seen that one too. About these files. Possible buyers, Militech gear. Important to all stop contacting the mole. We're in deep shit. Well. Guess he knew, huh? Can we get out here? No? Okay. Um, you got any ideas, Jackie? Oh, I guess a ladder. That'll work. Wait, nothing? There's nothing here? Oh, there's a door. That won't open. Is that anything? I, I guess not. Wow, okay, I'm actually a little confused now. How do we get out? Not that door. Maybe this gate? No. Thoughts, Jackie? Any thoughts at all? No. Are we a team or not? Mm. Anyone else have any thoughts? I'm... Oh, find the case containing the flathead. Cases here. Didn't I just see a case? That's not what I was thinking of, but that this does look like something, but it clearly is not. There's nothing here. Whoops. 
going to be on the ceiling. The flathead. Oh, there we go. Model MT zero D one two, Militech logo. Well, let's see this bad boy. Open it. Love tinkering with new gear. Tech poetry. Great piece of chrome. Feels like fucking Christmas morning. <laughs> We've gotta find a way out of here. Got the set. Bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. I don't think we should go out that way. Get out of here. Dying is fresh air. Ah, okay. Hey, will it fail on his feet? Ah, I could taste it. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. <laughs> really, no other way. A thousand beats a second. I couldn't believe my eyes. For a moment, I thought Jessica had changed them out for faulty Kuroshis while I was asleep, but no, that wouldn't have been like her. I blinked again. No change. There I saw them, clear as day, the open flaps of Jason's chrome skull. I saw the electronic brain that, up until now, had been hidden by perfect imitation sin skin. The son of future tech CEO, the boy of my damn dreams, Jason. He was an android. Shit. I sat there, stuck with a dumb expression on my face, and Jason stared back with one of his own. I couldn't help but wonder now. Were those beautiful eyes of his, the same that had pierced my soul, were they merely a mimicry controlled by some emo algorithm? Had there been any, had there never been anything real behind them all those times? Not once? Alex, it's not what you think, he pleaded with a strangely authentic note of panic in his voice, and I wanted to believe him. I really did. <laughs> Well, clearly it hasn't been, I replied in equal parts anxious and bitter. Me and my rotten luck, the first and last guy I fall for, and he turns out to be a goddamn motherboard on legs. No, that's, that's not... Jason suddenly broke off and smiled awkwardly. Wait, did you... did you say fall for? My cardio implant began to beat more and more quickly. My face flushed. Had I been wrong? Could this body of bolts, wires, and plastic really contain... Whatever's left of the real Jason Cadalez. Cadalez? Probably Cadalez. If this, if his father was able to design a synthetic heart for me, maybe he could do the same for his son's brain. The question is, why? I would read that book. I would totally read that book. Marketing issue. Mark, I still have a problem with the direction of this ad. It won't pass the focus group with flying colors, if at all. What do we hope to achieve by advertising milk? I know you've seen the latest reports. Even if we jack up nutrient content and tweak the consistently, consistency, we'll still lose to Biotechnica's alternatives. Our paste products already test worse with younger consumers. Besides, it's not even clear who the target audience is for this. You are aware most of our target sales are in urban markets, right? Unless you're playing off a sense of misplaced nostalgia or some reference I just don't get. We need to seriously consider reassigning the market budget from milk to something else. Do you have anything in mind from R&D that's already been tested? Lindsay. I'm not fully prepared to drop the milk project just yet. Despite your first impressions, we've actually put quite a lot of thought into this campaign. Still, I'm willing to explore other options. We have the meat mixture based on insect proteins ready to go. The same we discussed last year, but we weren't happy with texture or smell. There's also a soluble powder based on mealworm larvae used as the base for porridges and soups. Main problem there is we'd have to start from scratch. Let me know if either of these options speaks to you and we'll sync on the topic later this week. Porno BD. <gasps> That's so naughty and inappropriate. Uh, didn't find what you're looking for? Fantasy so fucked up it's not on our menu? No problem. Use our on-demand service to make an order. Our sex experts will do everything... We'll do make sure your every desired comes true. Ha 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 ha. Alright. So the first two is marketing for what this plant used to be, and now it's just spam. Okay. <laughs> Do 
Jackie, you should upgrade your legs. Really makes climbing things a lot easier. Wait, where am I? Oh. Oh, good. Let's move. Let's go. Oh, now you're like moving, moving, huh? What if I just drop? Can I just drop? Let's find out. That wasn't that far. Okay, I know you said we should move, but I'm gonna get sidetracked at every opportunity. Is that cool? Jackie, ja Jackie, Jackie, where'd you go? Jackie? <laughs> I see you. Seems unlikely. Uh oh. Who saw me? How did you see me? There's someone. Alright. Who's seeing me? Or is that from that camera? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm making them friendly. Wait. Why isn't it working? Ah, oh, fine. Let's just turn you off. Sit tight! Coming for you! Are you? Are you coming for me? Can I breach you? Let's breach you. Great. And now, let's distract you. I'm being kind enough to still knock you out instead of kill you. So, keep that in mind. Whoops. someone else. Let's distract you here. 
That was what I'm doing the straps were for, huh? I guess that makes sense. Anything else up here? Hey you! Hey! Hey! Help me out over here! Why would oh, I do shit, that? I know this fool! It's Brick! Oh! It's your call, V. What do you want to do? How how do I get you out? How do I get you out? What do you need? Hmm. I don't know what the code is. I will have to find it. Hold on. Find a way to free brick. Oh, I leveled up! Man, I keep seeing this later. Um... go and what else what do we got what am i doing with quick hex do more damage yes excellent oh detonator detonator armed what is this charge for i don't know what the charge is for Gonna be long? I'll disarm it, I guess. I didn't even come across a trap. I came across a detonator before I came across a trap. So I guess that's good. How do I free you, Brick? Is there a code somewhere? on a, a computer or something that I haven't found yet. I'll be back for you. I promise. Tacos, nice. <gasps> Ooh, tacos. Man, I want some tacos now. We do tacos for dinner. I'm in need of tacos. Uh, I'll be your friend. No, you won't. You're a liar. You're a damn liar. This overload. Cool. Oh. That's not helpful. I forgot. It doesn't make things explode, just overload. How do. Whoa! Drag this out! Come. 
I can just... Well, okay. Hi. God. Felt like a fucking eternity there. Been in here a while? A few days. Kinda lost count. Some guys loyal enough to care slip me stuff, tried to help out. Royce threw him in the microwave dryer. Made me watch. Wow. Guess it's kinda your fault we're here. Came for some tech Dex bought. He tell you to free me? Not quite. No, just to pick up the bot. Classic fucking Dex. <laughs> your face scares me. Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. Think we're do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, maybe. No, I don't think so. You, but kind of caught me at a bad time. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered. Good enough. I'll take it. Sure you'll manage all right? This is my home. Well. Quit fucking sweating it. I mean, you were just locked up in here. But, okay. Ooh, Mantis Blade, still thermal damage. It's not something I'm using, but... Still cool. What is this? Why won't it let me pick it up? Oh, it's a bounce back. Alright. Do not turn around. Great, thank you. Awesome. I don't think I have to fight them. If I can just get out. Oh, I feel like I haven't actually talked in a while. Sorry. <laughs> for me. I'm about to be on fire. 
there. Whole HUD went away for a second. Can I overheat you too? Make this easy on myself? After 50 long years, the wait is over. The third and final installment of the No Life series, is this a Half-Life joke, will be available for purchase tomorrow. As has been reported already, gamers should not expect any major shakeups in regards to the protagonist. We still play a strong, silent type scientist, Baron Freemensch. We follow Baron as he ventures to the Arctic Circle to, well, why spoil it when you'll have your hands on it in less than 24 hours? The gist? With Alice at Baron's side and trusty crowbar in hand, those nasty aliens are in for a rude awakening. 100% half-life. They're really not subtle with their references, are they? Inheritance. Feeling alone tonight? Alright. Who's, like, watching the news right now? keep going. into this room. And then I can 
distract you with this machine. And then pull you back. Let's go. We're gonna go right here. Put you right inside this lovely little dumpster. You'll have a great time, I promise. again, shall we? Distract you there. Distract you there. He's gonna turn around the other way. Uh, don't know why I just stood up there. Nice. Oh. Someone isn't happy. All right, what are you? Oh, it's Royce. Oh, I am not happy with Royce. We will not be letting him go easily. Let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to just knock him out though. I don't feel like that is an option. Unless I punch the shit out of him, which, I mean, wouldn't hate it. to sneak past Royce? I don't think I'm gonna do that. Can I get behind him? Probably not, but... Oh my god. Start 
save it for a new one. I knocked him out. I think. something to you later. Come on, V. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Militech. They got those things buzzing around everywhere. Pass the gate. We can talk there. Like a Militech bitch. <laughs> well, we made it out. This is good. But wait, we're gonna resolve this next time. Sound good? Okay, great, because you don't have a choice. This is my channel and I do what I want. <laughs> so, if this isn't the worst thing you've ever seen, like the video, subscribe to my channel, tell everyone you know how much you love being in Night City with me as I play through Cyberpunk, and thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Okay, bye. Wait, don't go anywhere yet. Turns out, can't save it here yet. So fine, here's the last bit of this. <laughs> can't wait to hear which... Expect to see me here. I kinda did. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. I don't know about that. What was your word? Your word had nothing to do with what she's saying. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Oh, okay. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Kanal. Smoking's bad for you. You should you should stop smoking. It's not all right. Bye. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too. But uh, hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? What? Yeah, I want to make sure. You know, we're good together. I like how we do things. Agreed. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. I like shots. Hi, luego, V. Oh. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? Yes. And what about the Militech angle? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Mr. B. Thank you. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do, grabbing that biochip. Right. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. Cool. Hey, level up. All right. Now. I'm done for the day. <laughs> so, again, like I said, if it's not the worst thing you've ever seen, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that, you heard it, you heard it already. I already said it. Just a reminder, you know, anyway. All right, thanks for your time. Okay, bye.